Now we're going to move to the most competent, and I hope we don't have incompetent teams, but the most competent and the most collaborative team working together in the research park. We have three we have three finalists of teams from three companies, the Ameren Innovation Center, Synchrony, and from Brunswick iJet. We've heard a little bit more about already tonight. And so first we're gonna go to our first finalist team from Synchrony. And I believe that we have Mike Storiali to tell us more about the team and how they're working together across many different disciplines. I see it's a mix of aerospace and computer science, information science, data science, electrical engineering, finance, accounting, math. Pretty amazing crew here. Tell us about them, Mike. Yeah, so this is a pretty amazing crew that was pulled together at the very start of the pandemic. So when Synchrony went home, there was a immediate recognition that returning to the office was never going to be the same. So we pulled together a cross-functional team uh, to create the future of hoteling for Synchrony. Uh, so this team did everything from scoping dozens of possible application partners to engineering and data analysis um, and ultimately created the technology that we are going to be using as we return to office actually that some of us are using as we're returning to office uh, across 22 global sites and over 20,000 employees they're still in the process of rolling some of this out it's gone from early early scoping all the way through to uh, final rollout and they have a couple more phases to go um, and they have presented their work all the way up to uh, our president and CEO, as well as our executive leadership team, and have had to manage up and out throughout the entire process, right? Making sure that site leaders and executive leaders um, are both getting what they need and that we're creating a product that's going to work for the diverse diff uh, groups of backgrounds that we have uh, throughout the company. And so it's been an often demanding and tiresome nature to create some of this. I think all of us have a new uh, understanding of facilities as they've updated Corinne and I on the work that they've had to do over the recent months, but they're still in the process of their major rollout and, uh, and have done some really amazing work. Very proud of them. Awesome, Mike. Okay, I hope some of these students are here. I'm going to read off their names kind of quickly. And if you're if you're here, join us um, on, on uh, turn your video on. First, I have Emily Tokarski, who is a graduate student in aerospace systems engineering. Anushka Bossi, who is an undergraduate in computer science. And we have Amy Chen, who is an undergraduate in information systems. Emily Vera, who is an undergraduate in computer science. And we have Washing Dai, who is an undergraduate in data science. We have Ashish Paba, who is a graduate in electrical engineering. We have Wei Yang, who's a graduate in electrical engineering, graduate student in electrical engineering. Rudra Patel, an undergraduate in finance and accounting, and Vinayak Adukia, a graduate in financial mathematics. So if you can wave to us, say hi off microphone for a, for a minute, I want to hear your voices and just say hello and thank you for all you've accomplished. Hi. Hey, thanks, Mike. Hey, everyone. Thanks, Karen. Cool. Well, I'm sure lots of companies would like to hear from the, the type of work that you are doing because this has been a challenging year. So it seems fitting to hear about your work and a year of, that has been the pandemic and how you're able to impact a company of their transition through that process. Thank you, team, and uh, proud that you got to uh, deliver your projects to your president and CEO. That's an amazing opportunity. Thanks for sharing, Mike. Our next team that has that is a finalist is the Ameren team. The Ameren Innovation Center is proud to talk about an Innovation Center data team. And I will start by reading their names first so that they can come off of video and that or come on to video so that we'll be able to see this team too. And I know I see James who is going to say a little bit more as their manager about them as well. So I'm going to read their names. Um, we have Stephen Brogen, who is an undergraduate in computer engineering. So wave if you're here, any of you. We have Sarah Simpson, a graduate in mathematics. We have Edward Tang, who is a graduate in technology management. Jeremy Lipschatz, who is an undergraduate in computer science. Katie Cabby, who is an undergraduate in psychology. Ashley Alfred, who is a graduate in mathematics. Xander Pay. Uh, Pero, an undergraduate in industrial engineering, and Maori Lira, Lira, an undergraduate in mechanical engineering. So another great team that's highly interdisciplinary and hopefully inspires all of you who are managers to think about how to put skill sets together 
James from Ameren, tell us more about this incredible crew. Hey, thanks, Laura. Um, hi, everyone. My name is James Cabas. Uh, like Laura said, I'm a data scientist at Ameren. Um, I was actually a former research park intern with Ameren, and I've been you know, happy to come on full time. Um, this is my first time leading a team like this, and I got really, really lucky with the interns we hired. Um, my team is thrilled to be nominated uh, with such an amazing group of interns. Um, I'm just going to really quick touch on some of the projects they completed this summer because they were seriously impressive. Uh, we had a team that um, put together a gas leak detection algorithm, which was able to uh, detect the gas leaks real time for Ameren system. And we were looking as a company how to roll it into production. Uh, we had a team put together a machine learning pipeline and algorithm uh, to predict which customers are most likely to respond to Ameren smart thermostat central air conditioning and electrical efficiency programs. Um, we had a team that worked with Illinois Gas to assign each pipe a consequence of failure metric using data and machine learning. Uh, we built an in-house version of Git using AWS and Python. And we worked with several teams across Ameren to automate dashboard creation and how to get that data from point A to point B in an automated fashion, eliminating several dozens of hours of man hours every week. Um, when the summer kicked off, I gave the interns a hackathon. I asked them to create asteroids using Python they came back seven hours later with a fully functional game. Um, we had weekly team builders. We had chess tournaments and board game sessions. Uh, we hosted Python training courses for the rest of Ameren. And we met for short morning meetings using Kanban with fun icebreakers and really efficient meetings uh, to get what we needed throughout the day. Um, this summer has, has seriously drastically changed the, uh, the reputation of the ice center among um, you know, Ameren's coworkers. And they did a really good job of making me uh, look good and it made my job easy. So that for that reason, I nominated the Ameren data science team. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much, James. And we love seeing people who were former interns go on to become managers of students. So it's a pathway that's pretty amazing to see in process here at the research park. Our next team is the finalist from Brunswick's iJet Lab. And I know that Trevor is going to tell us more about it. This is a team of two, so a little different than the last ones we heard about, and includes Quentin uh, Rizzarardi, and graduate student in material science, and Bakit uh, Shriek Kumar, and undergraduate in material science. So specifically talk about their work in material science and how they have worked on um, impacting voting technologies. Trevor, tell us about their work. Yeah, I can do that. So I think uh, uh, from a soft skills standpoint, I think what's really impressive with this team is that um, the, the way that they complement each other so well. So Quentin, as described in your intro, is a, a PhD in material science, and uh, uh, he has done fantastic work just uh, uh, mentoring Von Chit as an undergrad student and giving him some guidance and, and helping him uh, stay on the right path. And then uh, Von Chet is just such a great researcher for an undergrad student to be able to identify good research uh, and then pull out the meaningful content for our use case. And uh, between the two of them, they, they work really well together. Quentin is a fantastic mentor and, and a born uh, teacher and leader. Um, just it, it's clear to me that he cares uh, as much about Von Chet's development as his own and uh, just fantastic working with these two. Uh, the projects that they're working on was around uh, taking copy therm and thermal uh, thermal calc and evaluating the softwares for being capable of uh, uh, improving some of the, uh, the materials that we use in some of our products, specifically stainless steels, uh, looking at grain refinement, looking at uh, uh, delta ferrite uh, content and some of these things for improving the materials for structural uh, uh, um, soundness. So. Uh, fantastic work that they've been doing. The, the biggest piece of, uh, um, uh, the biggest note on, on how well they've done is that their, their mentor at Mercury Marine had commented about that uh, he told his boss that he should fire him and, and replace him with these two. So uh, that's a pretty high praise from, uh, from George up in Fond du Lac. So uh, appreciate the work and uh, uh, love working with these two. Awesome. Thanks, Trevor. So you're already displacing full-time people. That's how impactful the students can be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's my pleasure to tell you who is the team that is winning, the most competent and collaborative team this year. And I see them all together. So I hope this is like a Lydia Jacoby moment with her teammates in uh, Seward, Alaska. And you can all jump up and down because I see you together 
It is the Ameren Innovation Center. So congratulations. Is there a spokesperson for your group? I, I don't know if you all have audio there. Hi guys, um, thank you so much. This is an awesome uh, opportunity to have and we're very excited um, to win. Um, this is just a great team and everybody has had a really good time working together. And as James said, we've um, really accomplished some of these great projects. Um, and we've gotten a lot closer, although we're virtual, we've gotten a lot closer through these uh, chess tournaments and you know daily icebreakers. And Jeremy's not with us here, but you can probably see him. He's got a nice little uh, background <laughs> of the eye center here. Um, again, thank you guys so much. And um, it's just an honor to be recognized among these great teams. Thank you. Awesome. Well, I hope you'll come across the street and celebrate with us. Um, those are, have I, yes, I think those are our awards, right, Laura? I've got my order of awards correct. And so we're going to go out with a bang for the team award. And we are going to invite you to come over to the Atkins building. Sorry, I was thinking patio, but the Atkins building for um, some uh, refreshments and celebration of all of you. And thank you so much to all of you as managers that clearly are inspiring students to do amazing work. Wow, so impressive to hear about everybody's accomplishments.